Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this week I'm reading from the coffee cup and then I will be drawing out cards from uh, the Tara Nefertiti deck that I have here, new deck, I love it. Um, and uh, also you'll notice um, for my usual viewers, much bigger different cup is because I'm away at the moment so I'm trying my best to record the videos for you guys uh so okay let's begin Capricorn all right Capricorn Capricorn there is something that feels very mysterious here very mysterious and you can sense it you get some melody you can feel it um you know it's like you got given some sort of information but for you you're like mm, this doesn't you don't feel quite satisfied about it you want to dig a little bit deeper and you are looking deeper into it as well the devil is in the details here Sag uh, Sagittarius maybe you're dealing with Sagittarius I don't know why you said that Capricorn Capricorn um the devil's in the details here something that feels it's like somebody told you okay it's finished here we go final this is done or yes i promise this is this is what it is here you go but you're like mm, something doesn't quite feel right or something doesn't quite fit and as you look into it a bit more as you you, you get more scope you're like ah oh, like you, you start to see the bigger picture you start to there's an outcome here that um you know, it's not as 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 clear or as easy as as you as somebody wanted you to think. As somebody wanted you to think. Um so you catch it. You catch it before, you know, things go further. Um So you're sorting that out. I get a father figure around you, Capricorn. Could be in the spirit world, could be around you physically, um, protecting you, helping you guide, helping guide you, helping guide you. There's certain nudges that happen and you could find yourself redirecting. And there is a message here that I see they are the ones that help do this to make sure you're on the right path. You get some wish fulfillments here for you, Capricorn. Nice. And, you know, they're, they're going to come in, um, like, easier than than you um, expected. Easier than you expected. Um, it, it feels like one after the other. You're eating a lot healthier, is what I see here. Lifestyle changes, eating healthier. You are glowing. Capricorn, I do see for many of you, you're glowing. You feel there is something here that you have a lot of pride in. You've been working very hard and now you're, you're going to show it off, you know, uh, whatever it is that you've been creating or making. You, I do see here, Capricorn, you will be smiling a lot. I see you smiling from ear to ear with something that is coming through with with um with uh some achievement something that's been in progress that is um shining you know you see you shining a lot which is good finances um sometimes I, I do see capricorn something had, had taken its toll on you Ah, I felt like a burden, but I do see financially things are starting to become more in order and you feel really good about it as well. Um, there was something that felt very fragile, a little bit painful, and that you, you know, and, and what I do see, I get a, something, a message here that it feels like it's a long story, um, but you get in closure. You get in closure, which is really, really important. There's a lot of love around you, by the way, a Capricorn. I see a lot of love around you. By the way, happy birthday for all of you who have celebrated that your birthdays or today or coming through. So, um, <laughs> something for you. You feel, you feel like there's a change in the air. By the way, you do. Mm. I mean, you 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 seeing it, you feeling it. Um, and there's also something to do with friends or best friends coming to visit you or spending more time as well. 
It's like there's a nice flow coming through for you, Capricorn. Very nice flow. There is some um, achievements again that I see. It's not going to be as hard as you imagine. And once you put your mind to it, ooh, I get the world is your oyster here. Oh, lovely. We have the full. The page of wands and the six of cups or the chalices here. This is the knave of wands, by the way. The knave page of wands. Um the full neighbor ones, page of ones, and the chalices. Fante di bastoni. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt to continue in Italian. Um, uh, I like this. You know, it's talking about that ease and that's a success here. That you, you know, you're in a much better headspace, more positive headspace. Um, and you have learned a lot recently about who you are and taking accountability as well seeing something has been transpiring where it gives you you know um more meaning to what you do in your life and everything uh you, you're ready to take that leap of faith to take this chance as a certain risk that you're like okay but it's a safe risk if that makes sense um you are able to also allow yourself to, um, you, you're creating a space for yourself that you're feeding your soul, feeding yourself only the, the good things, only things that you want, only things that you desire and you are abandoning a negativity. And here with the Six of Cups, I do get there is um, like a promise being made, a promise to yourself, something that you know, feels very much something that you've said to yourself a long time ago, perhaps when you were a child and you, and it's coming through, you're like, oh yes, you know, um, this is exactly where I wanted to be. This is what I wanted to, to happen. There's also a very strong soul connection coming in. Like I was seeing a lot of love, queen of swords. There's a strong um, soul connection and the knight of swords. I feel like these two have come out quite a few times. Um, a lot of warm energy, something very, very soulful here coming through. And it's all because like a, a very important change in direction that you have made, um, you know, and you feel directed in many ways as well by you know, somebody in the spirit world. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords. You know going in the right direction but something here is going to feel very right that uh, things will start to move along very very quickly you are using a lot of your experience your intellect being very very smart about this being very logical there is something here I, I get with the queen of swords it's all your best attributes you are uh, putting forward and it's like something has been testing you or you know the universe or life has been testing you and um you check all the the boxes you know and i i do see here that you get given an opportunity wh where there is something that is being made right and it's moving along quite swiftly here with the knight of swords and really thinking on your feet and just going for it this is a lot of energies of you just going for it you being in the right place and this is a knight of wands the knight of wands oh yeah and and because of this it's like you see what i see what, what i'm seeing here is when the opportunity calls you're not just going to sit around and ponder about it. You are taking action after action here. And the Knight of Wands is a, a, a door opening, something here that you, you know, I feel like you get given the green light and it's something that you deserve. You've been very patient uh, with it and you've been working diligently. I do also see in terms of romance, I have to say that's coming through for some um that something here is blossoming also when it comes to when it comes to romance but 
here everything that you you're putting things together and just going for it there is something here that you are putting out you're projecting you're unafraid of of being um and you're sticking true to to yourself and that's very very important and key to um you continuing to manifest a desire into reality it's already happening i see for many of you capricorn thank you so very much for being here really hope that this was helpful i love and appreciate every single one of you please do take care and until next time